Hi, this is Tim Fargo, and I want to walk you through setting up your new access to Twitter um, for Social Jukebox. So first things first, because um, this is going to be set up for each individual account that you have connected if you have more than one. Um, so let's go into the sign-in mode here, um, and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to use this funny sounding uh, test account, Dem Stubbs. <laughs> And uh, I already have my password saved. So, all right, so we're logged in here. First hurdle cleared because, uh, again, you're setting this up for a specific account. So you want to make sure that you know which account you're in just to be certain you're not setting something up for something else. Um, once you're logged in, and here you'll see your normal jukeboxes and all that. Um, you're going to go up to the upper right hand corner, click on your username, and go to Twitter Connect. All right, and then just disregard these for the moment. We will come back to them. Um, and you're going to go click here, and that's going to give you a set of instructions on what to do. So you're logged into the right account, etc. So let's click on this developer link, right? And if we go back to the instructions, it says, number two, click on the sign up button. Let's do that. All right. So um, in this case, I've already clicked on yes um, for a free version. And that's what I'm signed up for. Um, and that's the critical piece you'll you'll click on yes for free and then you'll come here okay so going back to the set of instructions um, you'll click on the ready to build on Twitter I did not get any on number six I didn't get any um, message about uh, missing phone numbers etc um, and once you click on the submit button related to getting the free account, you'll be in to where I just showed you. Um, and there, there's screenshots here um, if you need further assistance. So now we're at this point in on the developer site where you can see we have a project. This is the project. And then this is the app. All right. So. Um, going back to the instructions, uh, you know, we have a default project, click the name, um, and we're going to edit that. All right. So let's do that now. Um, and, uh, oh, this is the, right, let's go back to project. Sorry. Um, so now we're on the project, project here. <laughs> um, and then to settings, edit, and then we can call it whatever we want. So in this case, Stubbs project, just to make it simple. Use case, you can say making a bot, it's fine. Um, easy enough. <clears throat> and so that's step one. Um, and now we, you know, we have the name. Now we want to go back um, and we're going to use that name. Um, we're going to go to the app, right? And you need to copy the name of this, and you'll understand why in a second. <clears throat> now we're going to go to edit, and we're going to delete this app. I know you probably think, oh, we just created it. This is going to make it um, much, much easier to... Um, Make sure you copy it, and then I'm going to try this one more time to paste it. Yeah, here we go. Because um, you need to copy and paste it in here so you can delete it. Um, and doing so, as you'll see in a second, will is going to make your life easier. Because you need the codes that were those uh, things we saw a little bit earlier. And we'll, we'll get back there in a second. 
So let's see where we are here. Um, so now we deleted um, and uh, we have our project. We renamed it. Now we need to go to add app, right? This is not us. This is us. Um, so this button will be on your screen, add app. So you're going to click on that and you can add whatever name you want. I'll do Stubbs app since that's again the name we're using and you'll see here add app now number five add app name of your choice we just did that now to number six we're gonna go click next down at the bottom of the page right okay now we get to something very important so slow down and pay attention the first two of these we're gonna need so we're going to copy this, okay, and we're going to go back to this funny looking page. API key, right? And then, uh, let's get rid of that screen um, and get rid of that screen. Sorry. Um, so API key is this, right? So we're going to come back here. We're going to eliminate that, and then we're going to paste that value in there. Do not save it do not save it okay um, and you'll all will be revealed you'll see um, in a moment why you need to do that um, and here's the API secret we're also going to copy and paste there again still don't save it's no problem <clears throat> so we've done those um, we've gone in uh, to the Twitter portal on uh, social jukebox and we've copied these keys and we've pasted them um, into uh, social jukebox so now we're going to go back to the developers page and if you want you can copy and paste these into a document before you leave this page um, just so you have them you can regenerate them. It's not like the end of the world if you lose track of them, but um, it would be helpful um, to have them just in case. But in any case, uh, m most of you, as I mentioned, won't need them. So you can go down to app settings and just click on that. Um, so now we're at the next phase. Let's see what we need to do next. Um, so we clicked on app settings. Now click on user authentication settings okay user authentication settings all right let's click on that okay now on this page you want to click read and write and it's a web application this as it will say in the document which I'll refer back to in a moment you can type anything here um, because this does not get used um, and in this one down here, the only difference being you add the www, okay? So we're going to add those two things. And um, it'll even say here, uh, da, 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 <laughs> sorry, uh, in number 13, we went to user authentication settings um, and fill out the form. And as I mentioned, you can type in any URL you want. You want to use your website if you have one, by all means, please do so. So now we can go back here and save. And changing this, yes, we want to change this. So um, then we get to these two particular um, things. These do not, not matter for this. You don't need them. So you can click this you click through that no problem you're okay um, so now we're gonna go back um, and uh, yes I saved it we don't need the secret value um, and we're gonna go to the click T keys and tokens tab and so what does it say here keys and token tab um, access token and secret generate button um, so access token and secret where's that 
here. All right, so we're going to generate these. All right. And now we have the values that we're going to input in these last two boxes here. So I copied and pasted the first one. Now I'm coming back and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste the second one. Now this is the moment of truth. Okay, we haven't saved, which is why I told you not to because it, you'd have to start over basically, um, which is kind of a pain. Um, so when you click this, this green up here means you did it. You're in. All right. And the um, easiest way for us to double check on all this, um, if you'll bear with me just one moment, I'm going to quit, create a quick jukebox. Um, I'll try anyway. Uh, what the heck I'm doing here? All right, and I'm going to click Add. I don't have any posts. I'll add this uh, Henry Ford quote. You think you can or you think you can't. You're right. Um, and I'm just doing this in case you're wondering why I'm having you watch this. Um, it's just the way because I didn't have any posts in here and I didn't want to build this thing up um, just so it would be pristine and there wouldn't be any other post to notice or whatever. Okay, so let's go back to my Twitter account or the Twitter account here. Um, for the record, if any of you wonder what this is, this is my daughter's very big-eared corgi. Um, and <laughs> Uh, I hope you either like him or don't mind him. Um, so, in any case, I'm going to go back to Social Jukebox and I'm going to click Post It Now. Um, on your version, it, the things will just incorporate into your schedule, but um, the test site, we didn't do that. Um, so, now we can go and see um, what's been posted. And you can see whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Um, so the site's working. Um, you can post now. And that's it. You're, once you've gone through this to this step of the process, you're pretty much done. So um, I thank you for sticking around. It's been a little bit of a long video. Um, but I wanted to make sure that it was as straightforward as possible. Um, if there's any part of this that's confusing or you get stuck, um, etc., there are some instructions on the site. But of course, um, like I say, if you get stuck, you can reach me, Tim, at socialjukebox.com, and I will get you through the process. Okay, so thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.